Hey guys, welcome back to Casey Journeys. Um, today, I bring you guys my staircase and a cat. Yay! So guys, it's really early. I've not had coffee yet, and I don't really feel like going into work. <laughs> um, anyways guys, uh, today on Casey Journeys, I wanted to kind of go more in depth with something that I've actually glazed on in the past. Um, I've had a lot of questions in relation to my coming out video on how my parents really took it. And I kind of wanted to touch on that here and give you guys a more like better understanding. Um, I know when I was coming out, my biggest fear was what my parents, particularly my father would say. Um, again, I grew up in a really, really small Dutch community that if there was something wrong, everybody knew. And by something wrong, I mean like if somebody is sick, if somebody is not up and not up till the norm of the town. I mean, everybody talks, the neighbors talked. It was bad. <laughs> um, anyways, so I was really, really paranoid of when I came out to my dad that he would pretty much disown me. I mean, my dad was, he, he still is. Uh, my parents are both still married uh, to each other and my dad has been a truck driver his entire life. Um, he's a little bit older now. He's mid to late 50s. He, he just has this persona of it's his way or the highway. And that's kind of how it always was and how it was always meant to go. Until his son turned out to be gay. <laughs> um, my mom, really docile, really friendly, still pretty set in her ways though. I mean, she doesn't really like to be out of her comfort zone very much. Um, so this was, I don't know, three, four years ago now. Uh, I, Kyle and I had it planned that we were gonna come out on the same day and tell our parents on the same day. Obviously not with each other in the room because that would be awkward. Um, so I hopped in my truck and drove over to my mom's house and kind of prefaced her a little bit that I had something to tell her. Um, but I really just wanted to, you know, sit down, hang out, just, you know, visit like we usually do. So time came, went over there. Uh, I sat on the couch, she sat on the recliner. I remember this whole thing very vividly. Um, we're sitting there watching TV and I am practically pissing my shorts. I, I I know what I'm about to do and I don't know how I'm gonna do it and it's it's really scaring me. And it became like 10 o'clock at night and I wanted to go relatively soon. And so I said, hey mom, uh, do me a favor, I gotta show you something that's in my car. And I remember it was kinda cold out and I got her to follow me out to my car and I opened up the door, I started the truck, I got back out and I said, hey mom, I, I gotta tell you something real quick but I don't want you to freak out. She's like, oh God, Case, what is it? What is it? And I just, I, I told her right there, I'm like, mom, you know, Kyle that I've been living with, he's, he's more than my roommate, you know that, right? She said, yeah. what do you, what do you mean? I said, well, he's, he's more than my roommate. I mean, we're, we're together, mom, I'm, I'm gay. And the look of awestruck on her face, I could have never prepared for. I was terrified that she would disown me right there. Um, that exact moment, I probably embellished a little bit and freaked out, jumped in my truck and I left. I went down the road and just, I, I had to be alone. Um, I didn't think she took it very well. She did, she just definitely needed her own time. Um, so I didn't really see her for about a week after that, and we had texted and talked on the phone a little bit. It was it was a little bit awkward seeing him again or seeing her again, but I told her I hadn't told Dad yet, and I didn't know how or when or any of the logisticals of how I was going to do it. I was I was terrified. Um, I remember one night I was sitting with Kyle at home and. I broke down. I mean, I, I, I broke down, tears streaming. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I just, I, I kept telling myself, I have to tell my dad soon, I have to tell my dad soon. But I, I just wasn't ready to lose him. Um, 
My mom actually offered to tell my dad for me after she had found out just an easier way to break it, that way I'm not there. And she did. And my dad texted me back a little bit later that night after like 30 minutes after my mom had said that she said something to him and all I got a text, I got a text from my dad just saying I love you. And my family, it was never that big into saying things like that. We've never really like shown each other uh, emotional support or uh, used our words kind of thing. We're just, it just kind of, it, it is what it is. Um, But for my dad to text me after he learned that his son wasn't as perfect as he thought he was, not saying there's something wrong with being gay, it's just not his, not his vision, I'm sure. Um, but the fact that he could text me that and tell me that meant, meant a lot. And guys, I, I just, I just want to put it out there. I thought for sure that my family would disown me. I have never been closer with my family to this day. We hang out all the time. Uh, my parents both love Kyle. Uh, his parents all love me. It, guys, it, it's not an easy thing. and it, it, To this day, it's probably still one of the hardest, most stressful things I've ever had to do, but I never in a million years pictured it to play out how it did, especially with my father. And to that, I am really thankful and I hope this gives other people some kind of strength and some kind of courage and power to to do what I did and go just tell somebody. It gets so much easier once you tell somebody. I mean, I started out with telling a couple of friends here and there, and to this day, I have had zero negative responses to coming out. And I've been out for years. I've been, you know, happily with Kyle, living together for multiple years. Guys, it's okay. It's okay, honestly. Hey, kitty. Anyways, guys, um, so that was my emotional morning. <laughs> I am going to head off, edit this video, upload, and go to work. So I will talk to you guys all later. Again, thank you for staying with me. I've seen a lot of growth lately on my channel, and I, I love all the comments and messages I've been getting. And it, it's been fun, guys. and. Again, this is kind of just like my video diary. And I, I just, I just, I want to be able to help at least one person to traverse what I did in a more successful manner, in an easier manner with less anxiety and less stress. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, I will talk at you all later and have a great Friday.